In this video, we're gonna talk about how to survive the money mistakes that you make. Cue the intro. Okay, the first thing on the list, I know it's gonna rub people the wrong way, but I'm gonna say it anyway, you have to take responsibility for your actions because once you take responsibility, it's gonna allow you to move through whatever is actually happening and not be stuck in that place. You don't wanna be stuck in the money mistake cycle because you haven't taken responsibility for what's actually happening. You wanna have a clear picture of what's happening because that clear picture of what's happening is actually gonna allow you to solve the riddle of what's actually the underlying thing that's going on that's causing the adverse situation or the money mistakes that you're making. So definitely take responsibility and don't hesitate to do that. Don't hesitate to take responsibility. It's one of the things that's gonna be your ally in moving through whatever money mistakes that you make. They can be not meeting your bills, you know, not investing the right way, anything that you can think of you want to take responsibility for those things so that you can really see what the issue is and move past it and while you're doing that you want to give yourself a break you know i know you know we can be our worst critics and we can get really down on ourselves specifically with money when we go through money situations you know that's one of the hardest things to kind of snap out of when you see that you've made a major mistake with your money because it's our livelihood. A lot of things that we do in our lives stem from you know, the money that we make and what we're able to do with the money that we make. So it can be catastrophic if you have made some major mistakes with your money and I understand that. But you have to give yourself a break. You have to be able to look yourself in the eyes and say, hey, you know what, I'm not perfect. I'm gonna do better next time, let's move on. And that's really it, you know, you gotta move on. You gotta be able to give yourself a break and move on beyond the situation that you're currently in and do better, you know, do better. Figure out what the next step is to do better, which takes me to my next thing. Understanding what the underlying issue is that caused the errors in the first place. You know, that is one of the major things that we don't do if we aren't taking responsibility first. You know, we don't get to the point where we understand what the underlying issue is. You know, it could be something simple. It could be a simple mistake and you wouldn't know it if you don't investigate what that is. So take that time to investigate what the underlying thing is, figure out what those things are and start to fix them. How can I take these underlying issues and really work towards fixing those issues? You will be amazed at the impact that that is going to have on your life when you start to really see what are the underlying issues that you need to fix with your money mistakes. If you are making money mistakes in your life repeatedly and you really put those things down in front of you and find out what the underlying issues are that are causing those mistakes and you start to work towards fixing them, life changing. So definitely do that. And you have to keep an open mind. You have to keep an open mind while you do that. Um, I think that's one of the things that people do overlook um, when they are going through money situations is keeping an open mind because you might find solutions that you know are there that aren't going to cause you to have to do anything crazy or take yourself all out of the way or you know break the systems that you've already put in place. You might find easy solutions if you keep an open mind about what you're doing. So definitely do that. Don't allow yourself to get cycloed in one form of thinking when you're going through money situations or when you've made money mistakes. You know, you want to keep an open mind so that you can see the possibilities because sometimes those mistakes that you make with money are actually leading you to a greater understanding about money and are going to change your whole life in terms of money if you really keep an open mind about the possibilities of what you can do to get yourself out of those mistakes and get yourself on a different plateau or a different platform with what's happening. You may be about to change your life um, depending on how you approach that and depending on if you keep an open mind about the possibilities of the solutions to those issues. And this next thing goes without saying, you know, educate yourself. You have to be educated in anything that you want to accomplish and kind of get through on whatever level. You know, allow yourself to be educated in whatever is happening, you know, on whatever level. And that will go a long way to getting you out of those money mistakes and ensuring that they don't happen again. Because a lot of times, you know, we'll we'll get through things and we'll do the same thing again just because we aren't educated in, you know, what's happening and how to 
prevent those things, you know, so education in that way can be very preventative. So definitely take that in consideration when you are going through money mistakes, when you are trying to solve money mistakes and, you know, trying to get to the point of a real understanding, you know, start to educate yourself on what is actually happening. Just as you're doing right now, you know, we're having this conversation about money mistakes. So this may be an edutainment conversation, but you're still acquiring some education about what to do. So that's a good thing to constantly do when you are in situations where you want to know how to get out of those money mistakes that you're making definitely educate yourself don't ever put yourself in a box in terms of education thinking that you know everything about what you're doing which is oftentimes what we do you know don't do that and lastly one of the most powerful things you can do is be solution oriented you know don't complain you know a lot of times we get into a habit of really complaining about what has happened you know the mistakes we make we just sit and complain about those things and you know start to place blame on a lot of different things outside of us taking responsibility as I mentioned before but we have to be solution oriented if you are in a situation where you know you've made mistakes and you can see those things clearly you see those mistakes in front of you be solution oriented try to find solutions to those things you know always be of a mindset that you know I'm not going to be negative about this I'm going to try to find a solution to the problems that I'm having. Um, I'm going to try to have a deeper understanding of why I'm going through these things. And I'm going to get to the point where I can solve this mystery. I'm going to solve the riddle. I'm always going to solve the problem. You want to try as best you can to be a problem solver in terms of the mistakes you make and it will in turn allow you to always survive those situations. I hope this has been extremely helpful for someone, and until we talk again, I wish you health, wealth, and freedom.